Okay, we're going to do a quick Google Earth flight from Bluff to Escalante in southern Utah. And as we descend from space down towards Bluff, which is situated right on the San Juan River, we have a little bit of a bumpy descent here, but once we level out, we'll start heading north as if we're going to Blanding. And as we head north, we've got Cretaceous rocks sitting on top of Jurassic rocks. But then from Blanding, as we begin to turn to the west, uh, we need to cross the Coxcomb Monocline, a big warp in the crust on the Colorado Plateau. And as we cross the Monocline, we get into older rocks. So on the west side, we've got Triassic, younger rocks on top of Permian. And as we uh, continue on then to the west, this is where Natural Bridges National Monument is in the Permian rocks of the Cedar Mesa, sand, Cedar Mesa sandstone. And as we continue to the west, very flat lying strata. And on top of the Triassic, we actually have a thin layer of Jurassic rocks. And continue, the road continues to the northwest. You'll see the Henry Mountains come into view. These are five independent lacalis intrusions of magma. Uh, but they are not volcanoes. And as we head north then on this Jurassic Plains, we come up to Hanksville, and that's where we turn to the west. And as we'll start heading into Capitol Reef National Park, and we have another big monocline warp in the crest on the Colorado Plateau, the water pocket fold or water pocket monocline. And again, that's going to raise older rocks on the west side. And that's where you have the small town of Torrey. From Torrey, we'll turn south, and we've got Boulder Mountain on the horizon. This very high plateau capped by lavas, mostly andesitic lavas uh, from the tertiary period. And as we descend down into the small town of Boulder, uh, we leave the lavas of Boulder Mountain behind. And from here, we'll go ahead and turn to the east again so that we're facing the Henry Mountains. And uh, we're, we'll go ahead and fly over back to the water pocket fold. And you can appreciate what they call the Strike Valley Overlook, except we'll be looking up to the north and this water pocket fold where the strata are dipping deeply, steeply, I should say, down to the east. And you can really tell how there's this warp causes older rocks on the west side, younger rocks on the east side. The down dropping of the strata on the east preserves those Cretaceous sea rocks on the east side. And we'll pretty much uh, start to finish our flight traveling up the water pocket fold back up to the north. And as you get farther to the north, the, the water pocket fold is less steeply inclined. And at this point, we'll just keep pulling back until we have a whole view of our route from starting off at Bluff, ending up at Boulder. And from space, you can see the perspective of where the Great Salt Lake is up there in the north.